Welcome to the Art of Delegation, where we share specific tasks you can delegate to your VA. Today, we close onboarding with your virtual assistant. This is a two-part series, so if you haven't seen part one, make sure you check it out. The first part of onboarding is usually very clear. Mission, vision, values, your story, and your goals. With these core elements, you can get creative. For example, allowing your VA to do a mix between a deep dive and a customer journey, that's an idea. Let's break it down. First, introducing the tasks. Last time, we talked about delegating gradually and making it as real as possible. Keep that in mind and start delegating tasks. Let's take email, for example. While you show them what and how to do it, create a Loom or a Zoom video and store that in your drive's onboarding folder. Second, SOPs or standard operating procedures. If you're not building your wiki, you should. So have your VA draft those. The know-how of your company plus the training videos allow you to evaluate if the VA has the right idea while creating a replacement grid at the same time. Third, communication with the team. Last time, we talked about a body or a mentor system. Keep that in mind and introduce your VA to everyone he or she needs to know while creating clear lines of communication with each. Let everyone get familiar with each other and you're well on your way to a fully set up hybrid team. Keep it simple. Set some time aside for questions. Have yours ready because you need to make sure that they got the key instructions and ask them to bring at least three of their own. Knowledge goes both ways. The devil is in the details. Auditory, visual, and kinesthetic. Communication is what will make this work. Our authority is phone. Use VoIP lines or audio messages to speak. Virtual is instant messaging services like Slack or Click, and they will prove to be your biggest ally in this effort. And kinesthetic is video conference, Zoom or Teams. Cover all three and you're ready to rock. With this, we wrap up onboarding. Remember to visit our YouTube channel and check out part one in case you missed it. Feel free to share this with a colleague who's onboarding a new team member. Do you want to know how to delegate a task? Let us know in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe and don't forget to share. See you next time.